A nationwide program is calling all farmers to nominate their local, st local schools for STEM grants. First Alert Meteorologist Pierce Legion shows us how one school in the CSRA is already benefiting. Burke County High School is bear country, but on a hilltop just behind the school, a single solitary cow stands tall. <coughs> Meet Maybell. She's part of a unique on-campus learning experience. She is one of our livestock projects. Our classes usually come out here to have a more hands-on experience with the things that we're learning in the classroom. The barn and crop plots on the school's campus were made possible thanks to a $10,000 grant from the America's Farmers Grow Rural Education Fund. The fund calls on farmers to nominate their local schools for STEM grants. 22 farmers got together to give Burke County Schools the nod in 2012. Our farmers are really getting even more exposure to what's going on in the high school and at the middle school and the ag programs and they are even you know more excited to know we have these types of programs going on to help our students. And the program is already working. For 10th grade student Jesse Lynn Strickland, it's been life changing. I wouldn't um, have the chance to even you know be out here to learn about crops and learn about calves and everything. I probably wouldn't even be in FFA if we didn't have this barn out here. My calves that I have, they'll actually chase you. I think it's um, amazing just to think about, they were just thinking about the students and thinking about the generations that are coming up after them. You know, we have to have somebody to take care of the land and to farm and raise the animals once they can't do it anymore. In Burr County at least, they're well on their way to growing the next generation of farmers. In Waynesboro, meteorologist Pierce Legion, Fox 54 News Now. Strickland says she hopes to one day own her own herd of cattle. If you're interested in nominating a school for one of those grants, we have a link for more details on our website, WFXG.com.